Hi, I'd like to take this opportunity to address the concerns of a certain person who has insinuated that I've tried to deceive people through the use of Photoshop by creating a picture of myself in a lab coat and thereby somehow implying that I have some sort of credentials, which I don't. Um, the fact is that the reason I actually did uh, Photoshop it was because I didn't have any very good pictures of myself in a lab coat and I didn't really feel like setting up a camera and everything. However, point of fact, I own a lab coat. Okay? Um, actually, I own more than a lab coat. I own a couple lab coats. I've got uh, one or two others in addition to this. And uh, I can wear it if I want. See, put down like that, snaps closed. But that's not all, okay? I don't just own a lab coat. I also own this, a uh, chemically resistant rubber lab apron. Actually, I have two of those. Um, the uh, anti-sea suit. Now, now, this is this I, I like even better than the, the lab coat. I mean, see, look at that. How badass is that, right? Uh, let's see. I got some uh, chemical and solvent resistant gloves. Um, I don't need to Photoshop myself with those. I see I can put them on. They can put the bag. Got another pair of these too. I also have some uh, latex gloves because uh, those are a lot cheaper. But uh, uh, now that's not all. I also have um, some lead aprons, um, but those are really heavy, and I didn't feel like bringing them up here to where the webcam is. But if you really need to see those to believe that I actually own them then I think I could probably do that. And, uh, oh, oh, yeah, um, I got some other, like, techie stuff that I wouldn't need to Photoshop myself into. Uh, here's, here's a, a Ludlum Model 3 rate meter and a, a 44.9, um, probe. Uh, it's a, it's a Geiger-Muller probe. It's, a Alpha, Beta, Gamma, but really it, it doesn't do a great job on Alpha, this one, um. I mean, better than most probes, but you really want to go with an alpha skin for that. And, and I, I have one of those. I also have a, a couple gamma scintillation detectors, and I have a multi-channel analyzer. Well, I have two, but uh, one of them is uh, actually a, it's, it's not, it, it's actually a data acquisition thing, and, and you would do the multi-channel analysis with software. But, uh, yeah, so, um, do I have that up here? No. Uh, I, see, I got, got a, um... The rest of the stuff is downstairs. Oh, look, here. See, I have uh, I have multiple rate meters. Here's a little one. This this one isn't as accurate. And, uh, you know, you, you won't use it for anything more than a, a rough test, but the thing about it is it's a lot smaller, a lot more inexpensive you can keep in your pocket. Now, um, I'd like to bring to your attention a couple of things. Um, not the, the fact that I would wear a lab coat doesn't really mean that I necessarily have, uh, I mean, I could say I'm an amateur scientist. Uh, that's certainly a valid term. Um, but lab coats are also worn by other individuals, um, other than scientists, um, some of whom might not even really be associated with that. Uh, in addition to being worn by medical doctors, possibly nurses, pharmacists, um, pharmacy technicians uh, who don't necessarily have a real lot of training, um, additionally, um, those who uh, work in photo labs, developing photographs, um, laboratory technicians who could be anything from almost completely uneducated and, you know, just cleaning up things, um, working in an analytical setting or something like that. I mean, you know, a very similar sort of garment, um, probably you wouldn't call it a lab coat, would be worn by a butcher. So uh, that that's not really, you know, so what, I, you know, I could basically be saying, well, I'm a scientist or a doctor or a guy who develops photographs or a butcher, I mean, come on. I, I don't really get how that does anything. I mean, the fact is that the photograph was created for a website, okay? It, it, wasn't, it wasn't designed to be a serious website or it was really anything more than, hey, look, I, I'm having some fun here. You know, here are some pictures of my Tesla coils and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I really wish this issue could just freaking die because... I just find it a bit irritating. Now, let me point out also that the person in question has used um, makeup and uh, facial effects to imply that this person was Gene Simmons when this person was not Gene Simmons, in fact.